For close to a decade now, we've been exposing Trump and MAGA. Our attacks are state-of-the-art, but they're not putting nearly the dent into his cult that we expect indeed. It's all we've got, so we keep at it. And for therapeutic benefit, we watch YouTube videos with thumbnail titles like He's Losing and Trump Burned, even though he's not losing and doesn't look burned. His base is as animated as ever. We've been spinning our wheels, maybe enough to get Harris over the finish line and Trump out of our lives, but the problem won't end then. The problem is his base. You don't get heroin addicts to quit by telling them how bad the heroin industry is for society. Maybe there's no getting an addict to kick the habit, but if they do, it's because we corner them with the fact that they're addicts, even shaming them if we have to. Addicts don't change until the consequences hit them hard. We'd have more leverage with Trump addicts if we got better at confronting them about their addiction. We need to try to stage harsh interventions. Our experts tell us to walk away. There's no talking to narcissists. Or they tell us to talk to them like they're not addicts. Reason with them about details. Point out facts about how what they're doing is bad for society. Those can work, but they aren't working with Trump addicts. That's understandable. Trumpists have one core goal, and it sure as hell isn't making America great again. It's making every challenge to their fake authority fail. What we haven't tried nearly enough is taunting them about that. So here's an imagined dialogue with a Trumpist that does just that. It's imaginary in that, like any addict, a Trumpist wouldn't sit still for this long in intervention unless they were trapped. They'd run away, tail between their legs, claiming victory. Still, it's a composite of many conversations I've had with Trumpists. Let me know in the comments what you think about this approach. Here goes. I'm all in for Trump. You like his style. No, no. Sometimes I think he's too bold. But he has to be bold. See, I'm an issues voter. I'm all about saving America, securing our borders, and bringing back a strong economy. Trump can do that. Harris can't. Harris is going to destroy America. Trump will save it. Sounds like you feel very mature about it. Very thoughtful. Well, yeah, I stay up on the news. I do my own research. I, I believe Trump is great on the issues. And me, I'm all about the issues. I bet you wish more people were issue voters like you. I do. People are so biased. I'm not. I'm just trying to make America great again. Would you like to be a helper and get more people to think about issues in an unbiased way like you? I would. I truly would. But most people are so biased, stupid, and bad, they're just wrong about everything. It's, it's, it's pitiful. Must be challenging for you these days. It is. MAGA is persecuted by biased, stupid, bad people. That's not what I meant. I meant most people think you're kidding yourself when you claim you're all about the issues. Yeah, they'd be dead wrong. I am all about the issues. Because you say so? But I feel passionately about the issues. Yeah, most folks would call bullshit on that. I don't understand. I'm sure you don't understand. Any guess why I say people wouldn't believe your claim that you're an issues voter? Of course. Biased people feel threatened by MAGA. We're persecuted. Like, like Jesus. And you're not biased. No, I'm a critical thinker. What makes someone a critical thinker? Being unbiased. And what is bias? It's believing stupid wrong things. Got it. So you're saying there are people like you and Trump who know the truth. And then there are people who are biased because they're stupid and bad. Exactly. That's not what bias means, you know. Bullshit. Bias means personal preference. Do you have any? I do, but they're not biases. The media is biased. How so? I look at it and it's way off. Off of what? The truth. Which you have because you're unbiased. Yep. See, that's a dead giveaway. That's why people can tell you're not an issues voter. I don't get it. Nor would you want to because you're biased against getting it. Most people see you as a snowflake, afraid of hearing any opinion that disagrees with you. It's all, la, 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 I can't hear you. No, you're the snowflake. I'm tough. I'm bold. I have guns. Sure you do. And all sorts of macho ornamentation and toys to compensate for your snowflake trembling. That's how most people see you. A guy in dress-up drag pretending you're macho. 
Well, you're a piece of shit. You mean I'm a poopy butt? What, are we in kindergarten, macho man? Y-M-C-A. Get serious. I'm just right. I'm trying to make America great again. Yeah, with that attitude, it's going to be very hard for you to convince people you're an issues guy. No, you're wrong about that. That's my point. That's why folks won't believe you're an issues voter. What's why, idiot? You say, you're wrong, like you're the unbiased objective authority on what's true and what isn't. What's that got to do with whether I'm an issues guy? Nothing. That's my point. To most people, you sound like someone self-pleasuring to the fantasy that you're the unbiased authority on reality. You look like just another chicken-hearted fool getting himself off on pretending that anyone who disagrees with you is biased, dumb, and evil. You're enjoying the joys of victim playing fake heroic paranoia. You look like a Trump groupie, a wannabe in Trump drag, pretending you're right about everything. None of that has anything to do with government policy. Trump has been right about everything so far. You don't know anything. You telling people that he's been right about everything makes you sound like just another hungry, horny dupe with a big old man crush on the spoiled man baby getting away with pretending he's always right because of suckers like you. It makes you sound like a sucker, not an issues guy. Now, Trump has been right about everything so far. I'm sorry, maybe I misunderstood you. Didn't you just say you want to be a helper in getting more people to support Donald Trump? I do. Then you need to work on your delivery because you're shooting yourself in the foot. You don't know that for sure. No, I don't. For example, it's also possible that you don't need to work on your delivery because you like shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah, you're just an idiot. In your opinion. See, I know it's just your biased opinion, but you don't give off the impression that you know it's your opinion. Instead, you keep pretending you're some heroic genius superhero who has solved reality and that anyone who disagrees with you is biased, dumb, and evil. Now, maybe you like shooting yourself in the foot like a masochist jerking off to the fantasy that you're persecuted by bad people abusing you. Go to hell. You're just wrong. Maybe. I'm sharing my opinion, which if you weren't such a chicken, you'd be able to hear without saying, la, 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 I can't hear you. That's just your bias. I'm just trying to make America great again. It is my bias, and yours clearly seems to be pretending that you're just trying to make America great again with your pretend authority. Look, how would you feel if I told you I'm right about everything and you're dumb, evil, and biased for not agreeing with me? I'd know you're a jerk. Exactly, and that's why people can tell you're just jerking off to your pretend authority. That's how people can tell you're not into policy. Trump is losing. Many former Trump supporters now see that he's a toddler pretending he's some comic book superhero with a magical superpower that makes him write about everything. People see you as a jerk jerking off, not a policy guy at all. No, that's not why you're a jerk. Why then? Because you're wrong and I'm right. I'm right because I'm unbiased. I get it. You expect me to just take your word for it. I don't, and I'm telling you people don't and won't. You don't get to tell me what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I feel, and I'm passionate about making America great again. Nor do I have to believe you when you tell me you know what you're doing. I get to form my own opinion, and I'm telling you it. You're just too much of a pussy to even consider any opinion but your own. You're addicted, and not to policy, but to masturbating to your own pretend dress-up heroism. You look pathetic. You just can't see it because you've closed your eyes while you rub yourself off vigorously in the public square. I'm all about the policies. Yeah, you don't believe me because you're biased, dumb and evil, and want to ruin America. See that? Not only do you pretend you get to tell me what you're doing, you pretend you get to tell me what I'm doing. You pretend you get to tell everyone what they're doing and no tag back because you're frightened of hearing anyone's opinion but your own. A lot of people agree with Trump. He's winning. In your jerk-off fantasy, he's winning. But you keep making my point. He's convinced a bunch of hungry, horny, homoerotic fools like you that he's always right. You think he's right about everything because he says he is. 
Trump is a one-trick phony running on nothing but straining to get away with pretending he's always right. You sound like a Trump wannabe, not a policy guy at all. There are millions of us, and we're not weird, we're normal. And why do you have to bring sex into it? What are you, a pervert? Could be, but here we're talking about your particular perversion. You guys and your circle jerk mutual admiration society have decomposing Elvis as your man crush, just blathering about Hannibal Lecter boat batteries and claiming he's right about everything because a bunch of gullible, scared, horny fools have fallen for his supposed boldness. He's bold, but he has to be. Yeah, well, a baby throwing a tantrum is bold, too. You're all bold enough to circle jerk in the public square about what badasses you are for destroying America. We've got your attention. That means we're right. Stalin got everyone's attention. That doesn't prove he was right. All it proves is that assholes and crybabies can get attention by throwing tantrums and pretending they're right about everything. Stalin? That's totally different. How? We're going to make America great again. Stalin said he was out to make Russia great again. Every tyrant in history has claimed they were out to make things great again. Are you always this naive or only when you're jerking off to your hots for Trump? We are a proud, bold MAGA army. Exactly. You close your eyes and picture yourself like a kiddie comic book hero. That's why I know you're not into policy. You Trump wannabes are nostalgic whiners playing hero dress up in your cowboy costumes and pretending the only reason people see you as lightweights is that you're heroic. That's disrespectful. Poor baby. You Trump shit for brain snowflake pussies have forfeited all credibility complaining about disrespect. You're wrong. We're all about bringing back patriotic respect. Respect for our country, for... Respect for your man crush, cunt of a man, Trump, you potty mouth tan Trumplicants. Trump's only trick is mocking people and pretending he's right about everything. Assholes like you feel like that makes him a genius. You don't notice the obvious. Anyone can be mocked for anything. It's called a cheap shot because it's easy. And you're not even good at it. You have the verbal combat skills of a seven-year-old. I know you are, but what am I? You're so into your jerk-off fantasy, you have no idea how stupid you look. Trump will bring back Christian respect. A few days ago, he said Harris was born mentally disabled. You're taking that out of context, says the pretend know-it-all authority. He wasn't talking about Harris. He was saying her policies are mentally ill. He's going to beat her policies like a dog. Yeah, there it is again. When you say he's going to beat her policies like a dog, you don't sound like a policy guy. You sound like someone getting off on professional wrestling or desperate housewives. From outside your circle jerk, you MAGA fanatics just sound like catty, petty bitches getting off on pretending you're always right. How dare you accuse me? Exactly. Caddy like that. That's exactly the kind of stuff we see on Desperate Housewives. Meow. So caddy. Such a drama queen. You don't understand. Harris is trying to make America fail. I understand. I just don't agree. And that's my point. You pretend that everyone who disagrees with you doesn't understand. Because if they understood, they'd agree with you, which is bullshit. Lots of people disagree with you. You just dismiss everyone who disagrees with you as biased, dumb, and evil. Very convenient for a chicken, but totally unconvincing to people outside your circle jerk bubble. You just don't want to make America great again. <laughs> Sounds like you think MAGA owns sentimental nostalgia. Of course we do. Look at the hat, stupid. Oh, get in line, you old fag hag jack off. Everyone's a wistful, nostalgic ninny sometimes, being dragged, kicking, and screaming into a changing world, just like you. Nuh uh, people who don't agree with us are making America lose. Yeah, you're afraid to open your eyes and see the rest of us Americans. You're having too much fun pretending you're a macho member of the Avengers. That's irrelevant. I don't know anything about the Avengers. You catty little. Trump copycats always do that. You pretend you're know-it-alls, and when you get scared of something you don't know that threatens your fragile fantasy, you say, I don't know about it, as if it makes it irrelevant. P. 
pitiful pussy whip pretend punks. So timid you can't handle anything but your own little fantasy. I'm telling you I don't know anything about the Avengers. Well, you should. Normal people play out their fantasies in fiction. That's my point. Stop pretending you know anything about how to run government. Jerk off to your make-believe heroism watching movies or sports. Don't do it in the public square. Don't turn governance into your little jerk-off vanity project. Why can't you be serious? And why can't you stop pretending you're serious when you're just a lightweight? People look at you and see a guy jerking off to pretending he represents everything good about America. You don't look like a patriot or a nationalist. You're embarrassing yourself with your homoerotic dress-up pretend heroism. You're wrong again. There are millions of us MAGA patriots. Yeah, a minority and the majority don't see you as issue voters. They see vanity voters jerking off to the desperate feeling that they're always right and never wrong. You don't know that for sure. Exactly. And now you're going to pretend you're the skeptic tutoring me on the importance of self-doubt. Dude, you don't know anything for sure. Nobody does. But you, you pretend like you're the authority on everything. That's why you're not credible. But I am an issues voter. I'm into policy. Let's get to policy then. What specific policies from Trump are going to beat Harris's policies like a dog? Immigration, the economy, making America great again. Those are issues, but what policies? Well, Harris wants to open the borders all the way and let in criminals and people with mental disabilities like her. She's trying to ruin America, and she's trying to ruin the economy by doing stupid things. Trump is trying to make America great. Anything else? That's all I know. That's all I need to know. You clearly have no idea what policy is. All you did was spew some slogans and fantasies. That's a kid pretending he's a superhero and everyone who disagrees with him is a villain. Well, you're no policy genius. There it is again. I know you are, but what am I? That's all you've got, toothless wonder. So what makes you a policy expert? I have a master's in public policy from University of California, but you'll notice I didn't say I was a policy expert the way you did. I think governing is hell on hard in a country with lots of diverse opinions and swarms of lightweight jerk-offs like you, pretending that by knowing nothing you know everything. But I just told you about the policies. Yeah, but I gotta believe you know better. I mean, you're not dumb enough to invest in a company simply because its policy is nothing more than it will make lots of money and beat the competition like a dog. But maybe it will. Maybe is right, but you're too timid to tolerate maybes. You talk like it's a sure thing, like reality is some rom-com that will end happily ever after with you and your man crush Trump walking off into the sunset. You don't know that for sure. And you pretend you do. Look, your opinion is not credible to me, and you are too much of a wuss to be able to brave hearing a different perspective. I'm not a wuss. I'm bold. So you say, but you're too much of a wimp to consider a perspective from outside your circle jerk bubble. Not true. Good. Then here's my perspective. Listen up if your fragile ego can handle it. I'm not going to keep repeating it. Your opinion doesn't matter to me enough to keep talking to a brick wall pretending it's a godlike superhero. Trump has absorbed about as many hungry, horny fools as he can get. There aren't any more folks like you, foolish, scared, and desperate enough to pretend you're right about everything and foolish enough to think that Trump is offering anything more than a childish comic book fantasy. He wasn't talking to women when he said he would be their protector. He was talking to homoerotic men crush groupies like you who are fool enough to believe he's a superhero with magical superpowers. The rest of us see that he's just a con man pretending he has an eternal winning streak. You won't get more support than you have because most people aren't scared little bunnies playing macho make-believe dress-up. Most people actually care about what happens next in America and know that making government work isn't easy as waving a toy magic wand. Trump has gathered all the scared little bunny rabbits and flak jackets he's going to get. And you guys are going to be so embarrassed when your imaginary superhero falls from the sky because he has no superpower, but his ability to sucker suckers like you. No, you're the sucker. You're the snowflake. You're the scared one. I am a sucker. I do get scared. The difference is I'm human enough to admit it. 
Human life is scary, but here's the difference. I'm not a snowflake who pretends I can't be suckered and can't be scared. You're a snowflake because you can't admit you're human. You are not some superhuman comic book superhero. You're stupid. Yeah, like I said, you closeted gay chubby chasers with your hard-ons for brain-dead, fat, sweaty Elvis. Think you're genius put-down artist because Trump taught you toddler taunts like, I know you are, but what am I? You suck at put-downs because you've let your brain rot. Too much jerking off to Trump let your brain decay. Someday your eyes will be forced open by a bitch slap reality check and you'll discover you've been circle jerking in the public square to fantasies of making America terrible, not just for everyone else, but for you and your kids, just like the dick wads who jerked off to Stalin. They lived out their days in shame if they were man enough to admit they were conned. Man up, you wuss. If you're gay for Trump, that's fine, but get a room to play out your fantasies. Get the fuck out of the public square. <laughs> well, it turns out few people in the world are into as much raw introspection about the human condition as I am. And if you're one of them, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And that's another thing. I'm for hire. I do strategic consulting on dealing with life's tough judgment calls and dealing with total jerks. My email's down below. Get in touch for a free sample session. Thanks.